Each year, tens of thousands of tons of clothing are being dumped in places like the Atacama Desert in Chile and other sites throughout the global south. Clothing designers and manufacturers overbuy material to create the next season's styles and then trash yards of unused fabric when the process is over. Clothing retailers warehouse billions of dollars of unsold clothing, and consumers have little understanding of how to recycle clothing that is in too poor condition to be donated. Fortunately, Grid's January cover story by Samantha Witchin shows that Philly is getting closer to creating a network of organizations and businesses that are finding holistic, circular solutions for the textile industry. We begin by talking with local designer Lobo Mao, who puts sustainability front and center with their business. Lobo Mao is a slow fashion company based in Philadelphia. We make all of our screen printed textiles in-house and manufacture our clothing with local factories. We make menswear, women's wear, and size inclusive clothing. Things like sweatshirts, joggers, dresses, all made of comfy machine washable organic fabrics. As a sustainably minded designer, one of the biggest barriers to recycling leftover fabric is simply an absence of resources for small businesses like ours. Before we even started working with Fab Scrap, who we're really happy to have in Philadelphia, I just remember we were doing research and development for a new project and I was driving to a local university with bins of scrap in my car, just sourcing fabric shredding machine. I was surprised at the lack of availability of those resources there were. So we're really happy that companies like Fab Scrap exist now in Philadelphia, that we can at least start making some impact in shredding our fabrics down and then being more circular as a company. Fab Scrap opened its Philly location at the Bach Building in 2021 to address one segment of textile waste, pre-consumer. Fab Scrap is a nonprofit organization. We work with about 600 fashion companies and we're collecting all of the excess materials from their design process. It gets collected and brought to our warehouses in New York and in Philly. And we sort all of that incoming material with volunteer help. Volunteers are sorting for either reuse or recycling. It's either reused and resold or given away free to volunteers or it gets recycled. We can recycle everything except for pieces of fabric that have lots of spandex content or leather. And those small pieces that get recycled are shredded and it becomes shoddy. It's like a low grade fiber pulp. And shoddy is used in a lot of different ways. It's used in insulation for new construction. It's used as carpet padding. It's used quite a bit in the automotive industry as soundproofing or filler used in mattress stuffing. This is the end product and we actually sell it here as well. People use it to stuff pillows, to stuff animals, stuff pin cushions. We have someone who stuffs ottomans for their Etsy store. So lots of good uses for the recycled content as well. All Together Now is an advocacy group trying to bridge the urban and the rural divide and among many issues, creating a more sustainable textile industry in Pennsylvania. All Together Now Pennsylvania is bringing a lot of different people that are involved in the textile recycling puzzle together so that we can create solutions. We're working with brands like Retriever, Fab Scrap, Resource Exchange, Circular Philadelphia, The Big Favorite, and the City of Philadelphia so that we can all come together to create solutions to our textile waste problem in Philadelphia. Right now, we have very little data on what our textile waste situation in Philadelphia even looks like. So we're beginning with surveying the general public to get a better idea of what the textile waste post-consumer problem really is. Most people think that when they donate their clothing, it's going to someone who needs it, but that's actually not what happens. About 85% of what we donate still does end up in the landfill. So we're trying to work hard to reduce what is ending up in the landfill and trying ways to reuse or rehome the products that people are donating. While Philadelphia is just one small link in the global textile supply chain, the collective actions of these businesses and organizations are beginning to create a concentric circle that can ripple out into the larger industry. To learn more about how this puzzle is being put together, read the cover story on gridphilly.com Pick up a copy of the magazine at one of Grid's distribution locations or subscribe today.